Hello students, I hope you all are doing good and I hope you all are helping your mother in doing her household chores. What does it mean about chores? Uh, this course is all about household chores and it's a big fun if you convert it into a game. So, before listening the poem, I should introduce you some difficult words so it can be easy for you to understand the word. So the first word is chores. What does it mean? Chores means a routine task, especially a household one. When you do something like washing the dishes, cleaning the house, sweeping the work, these kind of work, work are called chores. Second word is lay the table. Lay the table is an idiom. It means they set the table. When you arrange plates, glass, anything before your meal on the table, it means you are laying the table. Sweep. Sweep means clean an area by brushing away dirt or litter. When you are brushing away all the dirt or litter, it means you are sweeping with the brush. Alright? Now, next word is rug. What is rug? I think you all are aware about the rug. Rug is a piece of a floor which put on the floor. It is like a carpet. It's a small piece of carpet or it's a carpet. And you put in your dining rooms, drying rooms and sometimes in a garden. Tidy up. What does it mean about the tidy up? Tidy up means arrange something in a neat and ordered way. Why you arrange something in a very neat and clean way? It means you are tidying it up. I hope these understanding of the difficult words will help you understand about the poetry. So move that move toward uh, listening material and so we will enjoy listening this poem. This recording is from the British Council. Game of Chores At home, we always play a game when it's time to tidy up. We score some points for household chores and win the housework cup. Dust the shelves to get one point, one more to sweep the floor. And if you vacuum all the rugs, then you'll get two points more. In the bathroom, one point each to clean the shower and sink. The toilet is the one we hate. So that's five points, I think. We lay the table for one point and cook some food for two. And if you do the washing up, Here's three more points for you. Some extra chores can win two points. Like if you clean mum's car. And also if you walk the dog and take it very far. So that's my game. Now ask yourself if you want to play. How many points could you score if you tidied up today? This recording is from the British Council. To find more activities to practice your English, visit our website at www.britishcouncil.org forward slash learn English kids. I hope you all enjoyed listening to this poem. So it's now sing with me. Let's start. At home, we always play a game when it's time to tidy up. We score some points for household chores and win the housework cup. Dust the shelf to get one point, one more to swipe the floor. And if you vacuum all the rest, then you will get two points more. In the bathroom, one point each to clean the shower and sink. The toilet is the one we hate, so that five points I think. And we lay the table for one point and cook some food for two. And if you do the washing up, it's three more points for you. 
some extra chores we can win for points like if you clean mom's car and also if you walk the dog and take it very far so that's my game now ask yourself if you want to play how many points could you score if you tied it up today now you all sing very well so let's go move to the choose the answer you look in the poem again and circle the correct answer we will discuss it later thank you This recording is from the British Council. Game of Chores At home, we always play a game when it's time to tidy up. We score some points for household chores and win the Housework Cup. Dust the shelves to get one point, one more to sweep the floor. And if you vacuum all the rugs, then you'll get two points more. In the bathroom, one point each to clean the shower and sink. The toilet is the one we hate. So that's five points, I think. We lay the table for one point and cook some food for two. And if you do the washing up, Here's three more points for you. Some extra chores can win two points. Like if you clean mum's car. And also if you walk the dog and take it very far. So that's my game. Now ask yourself if you want to play. How many points could you score if you tidied up today? This recording is from the British Council. To find more activities to practice your English, visit our website at www.britishcouncil.org forward slash learn English kids.